As for this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use FSR 4.0.2 or at least FSR 4 on your older AMD cards. And I mean like RX 7000 series and RX 6000 series. And you can even use it in some older RTX cards and I believe even GTX cards, but of course that will maybe be for another video. And by the way, this is Ancient Gameplays. I'm Fabio Pisco. Oh! And this is my dog, Nino. And this is today's sponsor, GVG Mall. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only 15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. And I'm making this video because although I believe this process is quite simple as soon as you understand it, there are some people that are, that are still confused because, because they're not as tech savvy, so I'm here to help. Now just decide what you need is basically this folder that I have here and I will have this folder available to download so with the link in the description or the link in the pinned comment these files will be there and we have the FidelityFX Upscaler, FidelityFX Frame Generation and FidelityFX underscore the X12. Now these three files are the new files for the FSR 4.0.2 and these are the files for the FP8 upscaler. What happens is that if you have an RX 9000 series, you'll have FSR 4.0.2, but if you have an RX 7000, 6000 and so on, you'll only be presented with FSR 3.1.5. And that happens because this version of FSR Upscaler is actually the 4.0.2 of course, but it is the FP8 model. And the older generation AMD cards do not support FP8, so they can't run FSR 4 unless it's emulated, and that costs performance. Although we do have the FSR 4 int 8 version, which is another model of FSR 4, it isn't as great as the FP8 model, so the quality-wise, it will be a bit worse compared to the FSR4 on the RX 9000 series, but it is much, much better than anything that FSR 3.1.5 can offer. And now you ask me, well, if we have this FSR4 version, why doesn't AMD make it official? Well, they will. This that you see here is kind of a mod because we are swapping the LLs, but this is just the compile code that AMD leaked. So again, this is AMD's official code, but it isn't officially released yet. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the link in the description or to the pinned comment, of course, and download this folder that you see here, which will contain, of course, these three DLL files and the FSR 4 int 8 version. And now that you have this folder opened, what you want to do is go to the game that you want to, to change. For example, let's say The Last of Us Part 2. Let's say that you want to play The Last of Us Part 2 with the RX 6950XD, which is the card that I'm having right now. You just need to go to your games folder, in this case Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and this is how the folder would look. Now, if you go to the game and just open it, Let's, let me just show you. We have FSR 3.1.3, which I believe it's the official version in the game. 3.1.3, frame generation, and so on, so on, so on. Now, what you want to do is firstly change these files. You, you could just go, for example, FSR 4, int 8. You see that the, the file says upscaler, and this one just says FX underscore the X12. You need to make the files with the same name. So we just copy this to the folder. Then we go to the original file, dll.old, and then we rename the upscaler file, the FSR4 int 8 version, from upscaler to just the X12 as well. If we now go again to The Last of Us Part 2, and remember this is an RX 6950 XT, I'll show you, we go to the options, FSR 4.0.2. But if you want frame generation, it just won't work. Because with FSR 4.0.2 onwards, we have three DLL files instead of just one. We have the loader, which will basically load the files. So the, the original file will be called like this, loader underscore the X12, I believe. So this is the name of the original file, and you'll have the loader to load the frame generation and the upscaler. This means that if you are just going with this with this upscaler file here, you'll only have the upscaler, you won't really have frame generation, because before the frame generation and the upscaler were in the same DLL. 
and now they change that and now they have a loader with a separate DLL for upscaler and frame generation. That's maybe what's confusing you guys. What I advise you in order to have frame generation working properly is to just go delete this file, go to the folder that you downloaded, okay? Just rename the loader again to underscore the X12. And if you just go and copy these three files to the Last of Us folder and then open the game, you go to the options and FSR 3.1.5 will be presented instead of FSR 4. Because the loader file that you see here will detect the card you have, the GPU you have, and if you have an older than the RX 9000 series generation, so RX 6000, RX 7000 series, it will show you FSR 3.1.5 instead of FSR 4. Because again, the FP8 version of FSR 4 isn't uh, really supported. So what you want to do now that you have the loader, so you now have frame generation and upscaler separated, you just go to FSR4 int 8, copy the upscaler, yes, replace with the upscaler that we have. Basically, we are replacing the FP8 FSR4 with the int 8 FSR4, which supports older cards. Replace. And now, as soon as we go to The Last of Us Part 2, you can see FSR 4.0.2. It just works. And since you copied the three DLLs with different upscaler and frame generation DLLs, you can now use frame generation uh, out of the box without any issues. With just that file, the FSR4 int8 file, what would happen is that frame generation wouldn't work. And here we are now inside the game with FSR4.0.2, the int8 version. And let me just see. Uh, yes, FSR performance. Let's just reduce the... Um, yeah, the sharpness is a lot. And here we are with FSR4, looking pretty good. We are doing performance upscaling and still looks quite good, I would say, with 65, 66 FPS, 68, 69, <laughs> 69 in this part, options. So let's just get rid of the 69 and go to, let's say, balanced. And here we are now at 60, 61. And in, in the balanced mode, the game looks quite sharp on my 4K monitor, not gonna lie. All we have to do now is go to the options again, go to the frame generation option, which is here, enable, bam, frame generation is working 100 FPS. If you didn't do that process of the three DLLs with the frame generation separated, what would happen is that as soon as you enabled frame generation, it just wouldn't work. And after a minute or two, the game would crash because frame generation just wouldn't work. But with the three DLLs, upscaler and frame generation separated, you can actually do it and it, it will work perfectly fine. And by the way, this is FSR 4.0.2 upscaler with FSR 3.1.5 frame generation. Just letting you know. And this is the process that you have to do for every single game. Let's say that you want to do it with... Let's see the games that I have here. Well, let's do, for example, with Dying Light. Dying Light is an interesting scenario because Dying Light is the first game to officially support FSR 4.0.2. Like, the first game that supports FSR 4.0.2 inside the game. So, as soon as you go to the, I believe the, the folder is Engine, Source, Bin, X64. I believe this is the folder. Well, not really. I believe it's PHFT, Source, Work, Work Bin, X64. Yes, this is the folder. So... Since we already have the first game with FSR 4.0.2, you don't really need these three DLLs because these three DLLs are here. And as you can see, this one is called now Loader because it is officially implemented. Loader, frame generation, upscaler and so on. But as soon as you enter the game and go to the options, you can see that the only version of the upscaler that you have, if you select FSR, is 3.1.5. Actually, you have 2.3.4. Uh, 3.1.5 and then the driver default and if you have an RX 9000 series it will show 2.3.4 3.1.5 and 4.0.2 which is the upscaler files that are inside that same upscaler DLL but for you that have an older card it won't show anything besides this so now that you have the three DLL files all you have to do is just go FSR4 int 8 then we kind of go to this older one old then copy the upscaler to the folder and you're golden and after doing this process you go back into the game as usual then you go to the fsr version and you have 4.0.2 just like that
Now let's imagine a scenario where you're playing a game that doesn't support FSR 3.1.5. Games like Black Myth Wukong, games like Alan Wake 2, those games support an older version of FSR 3, which in terms of upscaling is actually FSR 2, or Alan Wake that supports just really FSR 2. It's quite simple, just go to the internet, download OptiScaler, and it will work. So I just go to the games folder again, Epic Games, Alan Wake, and here we are in the folder. And you have some more files here because I already installed OptiScaler before, so some files are left here. But what you have to do is go download OptiScaler, copy the files from OptiScaler to your games folder, in this case it's Alan Wake, replace, everything well, then you go setup windows, run, uh, you can choose the first the first option here, the, the xgi.dll. Then you have NVIDIA or AMD slash Intel GPU, AMD GPU. And then will you try the LSS inputs? In this case, yes, we can try the LSS inputs because the game does have the LSS and has the LSS4. So the inputs from the LSS4 in terms of motion vectors and so on will be quite better. Meaning that the information that gets up to the upscaler is better, meaning that the overall image quality will also be better. So yes, we want to use the LSS inputs. Now, if you go into the game, you can use FSR 3.1.5 and so on, so on, so on. But again, that's it. You can't really use FSR 4. So you need to go to your folder again, go to the FSR 4 int 8 version, copy it. Then we go to the upscaler version, dll.old, then copy the file here and you're good to go. Now, as soon as you go into the game, Alan Wake 2, you press insert, which is the default key for OptiScaler. I believe that we can make it a bit bigger, like 1.3, yes. And if we go to the options, you can see that we are running the LSS, even though that we don't really have an NVIDIA GPU. We aren't really running the LSS, we are using just the LSS inputs to then inject another upscaler. In this case, we are using the LSS inputs to inject XESS, which already looks much better than FSR 2 that is in the game. Even FSR 3.1.5 looks much better but now we're using 4.0.2. As you can see, it is working. We are now using FSR 4.0.2 on a game that only supports FSR 2. And again, this is mostly for single player games because some anti-cheat systems will be kind of picky and they might ban you if you are using these files in some online games. So I don't really advise this for online games, but anything besides that, you'll be completely fine. With FSR 3.1.5, we have 80 FPS, but look at the hair, look at the hair. It just looks really, really bad. And you can choose XES if we go to XSS, we have better detail, I would say, at 72 FPS. If we go again to FSR 3.1.5, it looks like crap in the, hair, in the hair part. But if I go to FSR 4.0.2, I go down from 80 FPS to 64, which is a huge decrease. But the quality, the clarity, it is just vastly, I mean, really vastly improved. It's a major difference quality wise. So, yeah. If you have a, uh, a card powerful enough, like the 6950 XT to run it, yeah, just do it because even with this incomplete Int8 version, because the official version will be quite better in terms of performance and quality, I believe, even with this unofficial version, it just works great. Quality and clarity wise, much better than FSR 3.1.5, definitely. Now this works this way out of the box if you're using an RX 7000 series, but if you're using an RX 6000 series, RDNA 2 like I am, you actually need one more step. You need to use the 23.9.1 drivers, these ones here, which is a bummer because they're quite old, but on the other side, if you're playing games like Cyberpunk 2077, these drivers are actually better. They deliver a smoother gameplay, by the way. Um, but if you don't really want to use older drivers, if you want to play more recent games, like for example, the Alters that run much better on newer drivers, you actually don't want to lose that performance even if you're using FSR4. And it seems that it has to do with some signing issues from the part of the drivers. And if you don't really use the 23.9.1 drivers, and if you use the newer ones like right out of the box, like the 25.9.2, when you activate the FSR 4.0.2 on the RX 6000 series inside your game, you'll see lots of shimmering, uh, lots of pixelation, ghosting and so on. It just won't look good. So what you want to do is download these two drivers. You can just simply go to Google or you can go also to the links in the descriptions. These drivers will be there. 
the 25.9.2, which are the most recent ones, and 23.9.1. So let's start with the 23.9.1. You just go more options. By the way, you'll need 7-zip. WinRAR didn't really work for me. And then you select this option, where it is. Extract to WHQL and so on. It will create a folder of the package. And the folder is here, as you can see. And then we do the same process for the newer drivers. We go to 7-zip, exactly the same. Then you go to the older drivers folder, the 23.9.1, you go to packages, then drivers, then display, then WT6A inf, whatever, then the B395348, and then you search for AMD XC64 and AMD XC32. Then you go, you copy these two files, you go to the newer folder, the, the folder of the newer drivers, you go to the same exact space, so packages, drivers, display, WT6A, B, now it's B4192.41, paste the files, overwrite them, and then you install the drivers. You will basically run the newer drivers, but with those signing issues off the case, and the FSR 4.0.2 will work well. I don't really know what's going on, um, but you actually need to do this for the RX 6000 series. The RX 7000 series do not need this, but the 6000 series do. So you just go here, you install the drivers, and then you'll have this, um, th basically these Windows security uh, pop-up telling you if you want to install the driver or not, and you just go with install the software driver anyway. And by the way, don't use this for online gaming because it can get you banned because you're using different signings uh, from older drivers and that can actually get you banned. Again, use this if you're playing mostly single player games and so on and you'll be fine. But if you want to do it for online games, you can do it. But of course, do it at your own risk as usual. And well, that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know if you, if you enjoyed the video or not. Let me know if you have any doubts. As usual, I'll answer as soon as I can. And yeah, I'm preparing some really interesting videos, by the way. Uh, some, some videos that have to do with RAM, frequency, timings and so on. So it will be inter interesting in both uh, a normal Ryzen and the Ryzen with X3D cache. But yeah, you'll see it soon. Thank you very much one more time and see you in the next video. And yes, comment in the comment section because that really helps the channel. Cheers. <laughs>